welcome students welcome in chemistry classes and in our previous lectures we were seeing stereochemistry and the nuclear chemistry okay two topics we have now taken out okay and in our previous lecture of the nuclear chemistry we have seen various topics like q value threshold energy and magic numbers and radioactive decay radioactive emission several type of questions we have seen okay now we have to see the problems that has been asked in the csir net get or in the iit jag mein okay so the questions are quite easy and if you know the basics of this nuclear chemistry just then you can do such type of questions very easily okay so i am giving you which type of questions are asked in the question paper see here this is from the csir net june 2017 and the question is which one of the following pair has two magic numbers for closed number set closed nuclear shell okay and i have already told you i have made one video about the magic numbers and you have seen that video i think okay so in that video i have told you that whenever the atomic number or the number of the neutrons or the number of the protons is equal to 50 or 82 and several other numbers i have given you okay such numbers are called magic numbers whenever these numbers are the atomic number or the number of protons or the neutrons then the nucleus is highly stable okay so such numbers are known as magic numbers so here the answer is 50 and 82 right very simple question and if you know this then you can cover two marks very easily right now see this question from gate 2019 now see here what is asked in this question total number of alpha and beta particles emitted in this radioactive decay reaction we have given this reaction uranium 92 238 is converting to lead 82 210 right and now we have to find out how many numbers of alpha and beta particles has been emitted in this reaction total number of particles right we have to find out for this what you have to do firstly just you have to firstly see the difference of this atomic weight okay so see here what is the difference of mass number this is mass number right here is 238 and here is 210 so this will be equal to 28 right so there is a total decrease in the mass number 28 and we know mass number we can get from the helium nucleus whenever the alpha particle is emitted this is the alpha particle okay whenever this particle is emitted there is a decrease of 4 in the mass number right so we can now divide it by 4 so we are getting here 7 it means seven alpha particles has been emitted in this reaction okay now see here in the alpha particle the atomic number is 2 right so there should be a decrease of 2 in the atomic number also and seven alpha particle has been released in this process right so total decrease in the atomic number will be equal to 7 into 2 it means total decrease in this will be equal to 14 okay this is the decrease in the atomic number 14 right now see here when we are subtracting this 14 from the 92 then what we are getting we are getting the atomic number will be equal to 78 okay so here the atomic number should be 78 but we are getting the atomic number 82 it means atomic number has been increased and how the atomic number increase whenever the beta particles are emitted then there is a increase in the atomic number right i have already told you and what is the beta particle beta particle is the electron okay so by the emission of one electron there is a increase of one atomic number in this right so the total number of the electrons that should be released will be equal to 82 minus 78 okay so this will be equal to 4 it means four electrons or we can say four beta particles has been emitted in this reaction so the total number of alpha and beta particles that has been emitted will be equal to seven alpha plus four beta particles it means total 11 particles has been released in this reaction okay so see here such a easy question that has been asked in the get 2019 so if you know a little bit about the nuclear chemistry then you can do such questions quite easily okay now see this question from iit jam 2018 question paper here we have to find out the decay mode of the carbon 14 and oxygen 14 okay now see here we have given four options that are beta decay positron emission 
बीटा डी के एंड पॉजिटोन एमिशन रेस्पेक्टिवली और पॉजिटोन एमिशन एंड बीटा डी के रेस्पेक्टिवली ओके एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू अबाउट द बीटा डी के एंड द पॉजिटोन एमिशन इफ यू हैव सीन माई फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द न्यूक्लियर केमिस्ट्री इन दैट वीडियो आई हैव क्लियरली टोल्ड अबाउट हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट वाट इज द बीटा डी के एंड वाट इज द पॉजिटोन एमिशन ओके सो हाउ द बीटा डी के हैपन्स फर्स्टली सी हियर वी हैव गिवेन टू एलिमेंट्स वन इज 14c and what is the atomic number of carbon that is 6 right so see here there are six number of protons and 14 minus 6 is equal to 8 it means eight neutrons are present here right so we can see here the number of the neutrons is greater as compared to the protons it means there is a requirement of conversion of the one neutron to one proton and i have already give you the reaction what happens actually the neutron this is the neutron right and when it is converted to proton this is the proton okay so if we are balancing this reaction zero and here is one so we have to put here minus one okay this is for electron and this one minus one will be equal to zero so it means whenever the neutron is converted to proton one electron is released and beside this in this reaction one anti neutrino is also released okay i have told you in my previous lecture okay so you can watch our video of the nuclear chemistry part 1 okay so you will get whole the understanding about this topic okay so whenever the neutron is converted to proton we are getting one electron and the anti neutrino right so in this reaction there is a requirement of conversion of neutron to proton right so this is actually the example of beta decay right this reaction is a good example of beta decay okay now see the next that is 14o and what is the atomic number of oxygen that is 8 right so see here there is 8 protons and the number of neutrons will be 14 minus 8 is equal to 6 6 neutrons are present here right so see here the number of protons is now greater than the number of neutrons it means there is a excess of protons so one proton can be converted to neutron okay so what will be the reaction now one proton is now being converted to neutron okay now balance this reaction here we have to put plus 1 okay and 1 minus 1 will be equal to 0 so this is positron that is being emitted okay and beside the positron whenever the positron is emitted we know that a neutrino is emitted right so this reaction is the example of positron emission okay so now we get our answer what is the answer beta decay and positron emission respectively okay so this is the answer okay now see this question from december 2019 question paper here we have to identify from the following the product of the k electron capture by the nucleus it means whenever the k electron capture reaction happens then which of these are emitted okay so see here what is the k electron capture i have already told you in my previous lecture that what is k electron capture it means whenever the electron from the k subshell is suppose this is the nucleus okay and this is the k subshell okay and here is a electron okay so this is the k subshell and here the electron is being absorbed from this k subshell by this nucleus so this reaction is known as the k electron capture reaction okay now see here whenever this electron the electron is negatively charged okay so right here in this manner whenever the electron is being absorbed by the nucleus then it will react with the proton okay it will react with the proton and it will form one of the neutron okay and beside this it will form neutrino okay so what products are formed in this reaction now you can see here whenever this electron is reacting with the proton one neutron is formed and one neutrino is formed it means two products are formed here one is the neutron and another one is the neutrino it means we can say that a and b is the right answer okay we have given four different options and you can select a and b okay okay now we are seeing the next question from june 2016 okay see here we have given four different reactions and we have to identify the radioactive capture reaction now what is the capture reaction do you have the understanding of the capture reaction i have told you about the different types of the radioactive reactions and capture reaction is the reaction in which 
something is being absorbed by the nucleus nucleus is absorbing something but it is not emitting anything okay nothing is emitting no particle is being emitted by it only a radiation is being emitted that is called gamma radiation okay only a radiation is being emitted right so such type of reactions are known as the radioactive capture reactions now see the first reaction here this beryllium what is the meaning of this reaction i have told you okay here what is thing this is the nucleus beryllium nucleus is reacting with the gamma radiation it is being bombarded by the gamma radiation and one neutron is ejected and this beryllium isotope is formed right so here this neutron is emitted now see in this reaction 23 na it is reacting with the neutron it is being bombarded with the neutron and 24 na this isotope is formed and in this reaction a gamma radiation is evolved it means no particle is being emitted only gamma radiation is being emitted okay so this is the right answer because here no particle is being emitted right so this is the example of radioactive capture reaction now you can see the next option in this option you can see here we have given copper such a large nucleus is now converting to very small nucleus of sodium okay and in this reaction so many particles are being emitted nine alpha particles three neutrons and one proton okay and this is bombarded with proton so such a large number of particles are being emitted so this is an example of spallation reaction okay now see the next option here this silver isotope is reacting with this neutron okay and again this isotope 107 silver is being formed okay so this is not also a radioactive capture reaction because in this reaction also neutron is being emitted okay so what is our answer our answer is this option number 2 okay this is the example of radioactive capture reaction all right now see the next question from csir net june 2016 question paper here we have given on two sequential electron capture this 56 ba 131 isotope will give what of this will give it okay so we have to find out okay see here we have given this nucleus barium 56 131 okay now it is capturing the electrons two ele two electrons okay now whenever it is capturing one electron what will happen this will reduce to 55 suppose this is x okay and its mass number will remain same okay now it is again absorbing one electron okay so what will happen again its atomic number will reduce by one so it will be now 54 and the mass number will remain as it is why because in the electron there is no mass okay so the mass number will remain as it is now identify this one this x is what we know 54 is the atomic number of genone okay so this is nothing this is the genone 54 131 okay and you can also see in the options it is matching to this one right so this is the correct answer option number a is the right answer okay now see okay now see the next question from june 2014's question paper the particles postulated to always accompany the positron emission among and we have given four three different options that are neutrino anti neutrino and electron okay out of which which particles are being emitted along with the positron emission now see how the positron emission happens we know that whenever one proton is converted to one neutron in that case one positron is being emitted okay and this is accompanied with the emission of the anti neutrino right so this is the one particle that is being emitted with the positron okay that is anti neutrino right now see in the next whenever this particle will come out of the nucleus this is coming out of the nucleus then soon it will react with the one electron it will collide with one electron okay so the two particles that are that are being emitted along with this positron emission are 
इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड एंटी न्यूट्रिनो सो दिस ऑप्शन नंबर टू एंड थ्री आर द राइट आंसर ओके सो दीज आर सम क्वेश्चन दैट आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट द रेडियो एक्टिव एमिशंस एंड रेडियो एक्टिव डिके इन अवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल सी सम मोर प्रॉब्लम्स दैट आर बेस्ड ऑन द क्यू वैल्यू थ्री शोल्डर एनर्जी न्यूक्लियर क्रॉस सेक्शन एंड सेवरल अदर थिंग्स लाइक न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन इट इज ओके सो स्टे विद अस एंड इफ यू लाइक दीज वीडियोज प्लीज शेयर प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट्स प्लीज ओके थैंक यू